Now, did this take way too long to kill? Razor Pine, straight off the bat. Look at that. Oh my god. My god. Time to tear stuff up. <laughs> That's amazing. This is 100% worth it. Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts. My name is James, and welcome back to our Expert Mode Mage playthrough. So, in the last episode, Tim focused on getting all this new armor and becoming a better mage. Well, one thing that was left behind is accessories. So, accessories are something I would like to work on today. Um, the ones I particularly want to work on are the Celestial Magnet, I believe. Um, and I also want to work on getting um, some new wings, because we're going to need ice wings. Um, because we're currently too slow to take down the next boss, which would be Duke Fishron. Um, so getting that speed back up is going to be really, really crucial to like moving as a character. So it's raining right now, so I thought we could go and check out the ice biome and get ourselves a little frost core. And um, let's see if we can make some wings straight off the bat. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, so to my understanding, a little ice golem can spawn at any point now because it is technically raining. So I'm just going to wait around a little bit and see if we can actually get one of these guys to show up. Usually if you just kick around, you know, it's a bit of a blizzard, he'll show up. I mean, that's kind of what they do. Um, so what I might do is I'll do a little tiny jump cut and uh, hopefully one will show up. And then we'll kill it and then we'll make some wings. Okay, I hear one. Hey, there you go. Hey, buddy. Alright, so we finally have one. So it is our goal to kill it and not die. So I might swap over to the hood real quick just to regen, uh, regen some health. Ah, nice one. Alright, okay. Let's give it one of these. And no, 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 don't freeze me. Don't freeze me. Okay. Okay, heal me up instead. That's what you need to do. Come on, give me that health. Come on. I need that health so bad. Alright, I'm hoping if I can just kill the, uh, the little slime, it'll heal me. And even this thing. Alright, I really need some mana. Okay, let's not die. Alright, let's regen some mana real quick. Kill that one off. Yeah, I should be fine here. I mean, I'm going to keep regening health from these guys, aren't I? Okay, i got 14 seconds left on a healing pot. Okay. Man, they actually do have such a strong attack and such a like high amount of health for what they are. It's kind of funny, really. Okay, let's heal up. Um... Alright, okay. This is good because I'm bouncing it back off it and just kind of... No, 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 no. Get out the way. Get out the way. Stop this. Okay. I know this seems like a relatively easy thing to do, and it kind of is. It's just that because it's not raining now and I'm not going to get some more rain for, like, I don't know how long, I'm just kind of waiting for it to, uh, you know, I'm just waiting to kill it, and then I'll feel safe, if you know what I mean. All right, I'm going to go grab some of this mana here. Okay, expect the staff all the way. Man, the the ice biome is so like like game intensive. I always get weird lag in the ice biome. Okay, health looking good. The Spectre staff's doing well for us. Regen in that health. Yeah, this is good. Oh no 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 no. Okay okay okay. Right, let's get out of the way. It's that freezing ability. No 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 no. Okay, that freezing ability really messes me up. God, I want to get out of the way of this guy so bad. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, and that's all we need to actually make ourselves some ice wings. So, we have to go take down a wyvern now, which will be super easy. And then we can make ourselves some ice wings. Alright, so I'm here in the floating island biome. And I'm waiting for a wyvern. So this shouldn't take too long, actually. I might go spectre mask instead of spectre hood for this one. Ah, there we go. Hey, what did I say? Okay, go that way. Alright, that's doing good because it's homing in. What damage are we doing to this guy? Is it good? Eh, it's not bad. So I need to regen some mana real quick. Yeah, I mean, we're doing alright damage. Alright, let's try and stick with a magnet sphere as it comes by. Ah, see, that does a lot of damage. That's really nice. See, magic and like being a wizard, like, it's all about using lots of different ones at once. That's what I feel like it is, personally. Like, it's all about how you use all the, you know, items together. Like, synergy and stuff like that. Alright, so that was 10 souls of flight, so I'm going to need to do another wyvern kill, so... Hey, wyvern number two! So let's see, I'm going to go back with the magnet sphere and go back with the spectre staff as well. Let's see what kind of damage we start doing. I want to bring that magnet sphere a little bit like this. 
Yeah, there we go. That looks even better. All right, awesome. Okay, health is doing okay. I'm going to put up another magnet sphere here and go with the Spectre Staff still. So yeah, I just never know when to use the hood or the thing. All right, that was 16, so that is enough, I believe, to actually get the uh, to get the wings. So let's go upstairs and craft them. Let's go to the top of the tower here, and bam! Guarding frozen wings. Well, we need to actually reforge these, and this is going to take up a lot of money. So let's see if we can get it quick and cheap. Um, reforge, right? Okay, bam, bam. Warding. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Right, so that replaces our old wings, so we can sell these on now. These are a little bit faster, and I think they have, like... I think they move faster, and I think you can, like, fly with them faster. Nice. Okay. And we still got that warding, like, straight off the bat. That's, like, not something I'm going to struggle to get. Oh, wow. Doesn't that look awesome? That looks so damn cool. Man, blood moves, man. It's kind of funny, because I haven't found a money trough this whole series yet, and I've had a few blood moons, but... I've just been kind of unlucky, to be honest. I guess I've not really been, like, partaking in Blood Moons as much as I should. Right, so I'm going to seal off all this stuff. And I'm going to get ready for a boss fight, I guess, then. Because that's kind of what I wanted to do. Um, that was, like, one of the things. And then the next thing is, obviously, waiting for a Travelling Merchant. So I might just wait for a Travelling Merchant and then get set up for a boss fight. So I think I might do that. Okay, so I was waiting for the Travelling Merchant when I thought to myself, there's something I'm overlooking here. The Frost Moon. So I haven't actually, and this is like complete honesty, um, I haven't done a Frost Moon event, I don't think, since 1.2.3. It's been a very, very long time since I've touched the Frost Moon event. I have no idea why, but I've always skipped it. It's just something I've never, ever been interested in. But there is a few little, like, items that we could get. For example, like the Blizzard Staff, and we could always go and get the Razor Pine... And uh, I think there's one more as well. But yeah, I completely overlook it every series. Like, I don't think I've ever fully done one on camera. And I've, I know I've never done one in a Let's Play. So I thought, you know what? I think it's about time. So I went and got all the ingredients that we need. Let's turn off auto-pause. Um, do I still have them all? Uh, I should do. Yeah, there we go. The naughty present. So I don't know. Let me know. What do you guys do? Do you actually do the events? You know, the Frost Moon and the, um, you know, and the Halloween one. Do you guys actually do that? I know I never do. So let me know. Let me know down below. Do you ever do these events and why do you do them? Do you do them for the loot? You're probably doing them for the loot, right? I'm, pro I'm probably just rubbish at stuff like this. Right. Okay. Well, I think all my wiring stuff, I don't know if it's still, if it's still at the Plantera area. Because if it's up here, I might just take it now. Ah, it is up here. Awesome. Right, have I got a timer? I have got a timer. Have I got any wires? I haven't got any wires. So let's speak to the engineer if I've got one. Yep, awesome. Let's grab some wires. Okay, let's set up a little health station for the second. Um, right, I'm going to set one up here. So I don't know how... This is the thing, right? It's been, it's been so long since I've done one. I can't exactly even remember how hard they are. Like, honestly, like... Are they really hard? I can't remember. I know that you're meant to do it around after Plantera. So it's actually surprising. Right, so quick little jump cut. I'm going to wait until the night time and we'll begin. All right, so I waited and it became a blood moon. Um, so I'm just going to leave it for a little bit and wait for the next night. I was trying to reforge my Spectre Staff as well at the last second and I got Forceful instead of... Um, I was hoping to get Mythical. Um, so like, yeah, so I'm just going to wait until the next night and um, yeah, see how we do. Okay, so it's time to try this out. So bam. Oh wait, I've got auto pause on. All right, bam. Okay, so I don't, yeah, I'm really, really new to this. Oh man, the music though is so good, isn't it? I forgot about how good this music was. Okay, it begins. So obviously I remember that it's a wave-based thing. You have to kill as many as possible and as fast as possible because the higher waves, the better enemies and such and the kind of weapons we want come at the end and such. There's lots of different factors to it. Oh my god, look at that. We're already uh, slicing through these enemies. I think the Shadow Beam Staff is a good call for this because obviously it's kind of like mob control. We're going through a lot of them. Wow, already up to wave three. All right, wave four. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see. Oh my god, this makes me want to have Christmas so bad. I'm already in the Christmas mood. I'm already uh, thinking about like places I want to go for Christmas and such. And... Um, like, I really, really want to go to New York for Christmas. That's kind of like a dream of mine. If you live in America, you're probably like, New York, boring. Uh, but no, that's like a British kid's dream. 
Um, oh my god, like going to New York for Christmas, like Home Alone 2. Oh, amazing. Alright, let's try the Spectre Staff on this one, because he seems a little bit stronger. This is where we're getting the Razor Pine, isn't it? The Everscream. So these are going to take a little bit longer to kill. So, what is going to be the best weapon? Obviously, throwing in a few... Oh, do you know what? Complete fool. Didn't think to use my Nimbus Rod. Yeah, got to use that as well. Now, does the Nimbus Rod go towards extra damage? That's a question. I don't think it does, does it? It doesn't. So does that make it a true magical weapon? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, oh, need to swap over to the hood. Alright, okay, I'm losing way too much health, so I'm just going to swap over real quick. And, um, yeah, just carry on like this, get some health back. And then when I've got some health back, I'll feel pretty good. Hey, it's good because I've got the healing stations up here, so I can always uh, pop and get some extra, extra health if I need it. Okay, um, I'm going to go back to the Spectre Staff. So I need to make sure it targets the Everscreen boss. And I don't know how the targeting works. Does it go for the weakest or the strongest or just the closest? Or whatever you're particularly aiming at. Alright, let's let that mana regen. Alright, I could have done with putting down my Clavoyancy uh, buff. Alright, this Everscreen's almost dead. Now, did this take way too long to kill? Razor Pine! Straight off the bat! Look at that! Oh my god. My god. Time to tear stuff up. <laughs> That's amazing. This is 100% worth it. Oh my god. This thing is boss. Boss and a half. Oh my god. Swap over to the hood again. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love it. I love it. Nothing nothing about these elf copters are going to bring me down because I've got myself a razor pine. Hey, that was so good. My god, I'm so I'm so glad I got that because I was literally thinking, while well, I skip over this event all the time, I better get bad luck with it as well. Ah, wow, cool. Because it's not a common drop. It's not it's not a common drop in the slightest. It's a rare drop. Uh from those like mini bosses that take a while to kill. Man, there are quite a few little mini bosses in Try, aren't there? Man, that is so cool. I'm gonna go back to this just for a quick second. These guys have so much health, don't they? I guess it is because we're using the hood, aren't we? Oh, cool. Cool. Alright, well, I feel good about that. We're already on to wave 6. So, that's cool as well. Let's, yeah, let's just see how much damage we can do. This is so good. Man, I'm so happy with this. Alright, I'm just going to grab that mana star real quick. And I'm going to grab that mana star there. Wow, look at that ever screen get wrecked. Wrecked, son. <laughs> Alright, well, we didn't get a second Razor Pine, so that makes me happy. Because, obviously, if it was a rare drop. Right, the Sand Tank. Right, I don't know what specific weapons this guy drops. Maybe the Blizzard staff comes... No, it doesn't. It comes from the Ice Queen, doesn't it? Right, see, it's slowly coming back to me. I've literally not done this fight properly, like I say, in like a year and a half. Quite a long time to skip an event out. Man, it's because it's so Christmassy. It feels wrong to do it this time of the year. Look at it. I'm feeling, like, joyous in that. We've got, like, four months till Christmas. I think it's four months. Yeah, it's four months till Christmas. Oh, God. I love it. I love it. It's making me feel joyous. Joy to the world. <laughs> oh my god, snap. Need to grab some health. So swap over to the hood. Alright, we're going to go for... Ah, what do you drop? Oh, a chain gun. So that would have been good in a series as well. The chain gun's a pretty good item. I like chain gun. I rate the chain gun. I do rate it, but I don't know if other people rate it. These are some things that I miss out on because I don't talk to a lot of people that <coughs> play Terraria. I don't know whether people rate stuff. That's something I wish I knew. That's why I do the top 5 series, because every time I do a top 5 series, I always get so many opinions about different weapons, and I'm like, okay, you should try that out. Like, for example, I didn't include Razor Pine on my top uh, 10 magical weapons, just because, you know, it's never really gone with me well. Um, and then now look at it. I'm in love with it. So, yeah. I don't know if it's been nerfed, though, in, in since it came into fruition. I feel like, because it, it was like an end gear 1.2.4, uh, magical weapon at one point, so I don't know whether it's been nerfed since then. I imagine they've probably nerfed it to fit into 1.3. Alright, okay. I'm completely talking about speculation here. Tim the Wizard knows. Chippy the Master does not. Okay, all my buffs are run out, so I'm going to take some more. Let's see how far we can get into this event. So this should be ending in like three minutes, right? I didn't get pretty far, did I? Oh, look at these little Christmas mimics. Alright, let's kill this Krampus off. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get as far as I thought I would. I thought I'd at least get to the uh, to the Ice Queens and such like that. 
All right, what's this? Ever screams. Oh, they what they're called? Ever screams. Now I'm confused. All right, I'm gonna go back over to the Spectre Hood for a quick second. All right, what is that firing away at me? Ah, it's another sand tank. Ah, I see. Okay, Krampus get killed. All right, Krampus is dead. All right, does this work a little bit better? No, it doesn't. Oh my God, look at him. He's in Tim's magical house. <laughs> oh, I've not been using this enough and I've not been using All right, okay. I need to move this cuz it's right where my keep my recording software overlay. All right, okay. There we go. Right. Let's try that. Let's see. Well, that's doing a lot to us. All right. I'm just going to grab some health real quick. Just so we're a little bit better. So that's the ever scream. All right. Cool. I feel like this has gone really successful. I only wanted a razor pine. That's all I really came into it for, to be honest. Because I wanted to check it out because everyone hypes it up. I see why. I do see why. It's a fun little weapon, isn't it? Maybe a reforge on this would be dead cool. I haven't got any money, like, at all honesty, but... Okay. Right. Okay, I imagine killing that sand tank is going to take it to wave 10, like, really fast. So that's what I'm kind of rooting for. Right, okay. I'm just backing off a little bit. Health is kind of low and I'm trying to heal up. Okay, man, they've got so many little presents hanging around, haven't they? Okay, let's reforge that. Not reforge that, let's refresh. Okay, there we go. Alright, so that's the sun tank down. And that's the ever scream almost down. Let me just refresh that mana real quick. Buff up the mana regen potions. See, this is the thing. Now I've gotten reliant on the health, um, on the health um, hood. You know, once you get reliant on the health hood, it's hard to kind of swap back and then start doing the damage and defense. Because you want to go to that when you're low, but you also really want to change back so that you keep killing things faster. Ah, I'm learning a lot today. I'm learning a lot today. It feels good. This episode is the Christmas before Christmas episode. I'm just kind of soloing the sand tanks. That's what I'm kind of going for. Man, getting to wave 15 on this actually seems... Whoa! You know, I didn't expect to die then, if I was honest. I thought I'd be completely fine. So it got to half past four. I got murdered. That's completely okay. I mean, I dropped 31 gold, and I think that guy grabbed it, but... Wow. That was refreshing. That was actually weirdly refreshing. Right, well, I lost all my money, and I kind of needed it. Um, hmm, should we do another one? I think, like, I feel like I could do another one of them. Be fun. Yeah, I want to do another one. So let's actually try and reforge this. Come here, Dalek or Dalek, as I always read you. Right, okay. Already out of that. So, right, shop. Let's sell you the... Do you know what? It doesn't sell for that much, does it? Huh. I'm actually really low on coins. Really, really low. How much do you charge for a reforge again? <sighs> See? So, so low on money. Right, I might try and get some money real quick. Um, where can I get some money? Hmm, do I... I don't have any boss summons at the minute. Hmm, where's the best place to go and get money real quick? Ah, right. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to sell anything. I'm just going to wait until the next night and we'll do... Uh, we'll do another one. Because it seems so cool to do the first one. Actually, I know where I can get some money. I'm going to go farm away in the dungeon for like... Until it's the next day. Um, and then I'll reforge it. And then we'll come back in. All right, so I did a few minutes in the dungeon, sold a Kraken, a sniper rifle, and a key brand, and I also just killed a bunch of stuff. So I've now got 40 gold, um, so let's reforge our Razor Pine again. So bam, agile, bam, taboo, bam, bam. Mythical, oh my god, that is absolutely perfect. That's literally like the best you can ask for. Oh my god, we're going to wreck things. We are going to wreck things. Look at it. It's so, like, intensive. My computer's like, nope. Um, right, so I just need to quickly um, go into crafting, grab some souls of fright and some silk. Um, and then we're going to craft ourselves up a naughty present. Bam. And we're going to see how far we can get. Now, I don't want to use all my potions because I'm going to go and, like, smash golem after this. Um, and what I'll do for this second bit is I will record it all and kind of highlight the best bits if I find anything cool. Or I might share with wrecking it. See, I don't know. I'm going to get the footage and I'll see what I have to do with it. 
Um, so we've just got a little bit of time to kill now. So I'll do a little jump cut and uh, we'll do our second round. Okay, so round number two. So I re-looked into the world to make sure that these heart statues were working properly. Um, and I feel like they are. I feel like they're good. Right, they're all falling down. So we're running out of time. So I've got to kind of do this as fast as possible. Um, because we're running out of time. So we're not going to do Gollum today. We'll definitely do it tomorrow then. All right, okay. Right, so let's kill as absolute many as possible. We want to smash through these rounds this time. We want to, like, get to the higher rounds. We want to have an attempt at that blizzard staff. You know what I mean? That's what that's what I'm going for. Okay, we're doing good. Oh, I should probably put my buffs on just so we can do a little bit better. So that's going to put our magic attack up. Okay, these guys are going well. All right, okay, so it's on to this one. All right, let's take this out. Okay, come on. I'm just trying to tank it now. Okay, it gave me lots of health. All right, so that was well worth tanking. Okay, All right, let's get rid of the nutcrackers because they're in our way. Let's get rid of... Oh, my God, there's a few nutcrackers, isn't there? Oh, my God, look at you spinning around. Oh my God, I used to hate the film The Nutcracker when I was a kid. Um, I think it's because my sisters used to make me watch the Barbie one. <laughs> Barbie the Nutcracker. I, I'm the youngest of five, if you guys didn't know. I've got a few older sisters. Um, yeah, so I had to watch stupid stuff like that when I was a kid. Right, anyway, enough of that. Look at that, repressed memories. Repressed Christmas memories. <laughs> oh, I love Christmas so much. Right, okay. Let's kill this one off. There we go. Right, feeling good about my health. The time to heal. And i still got chill debuff for 12 seconds. Oh my god, no. We might have screwed this. No, come on. Oh my god, look at that. We got wrecked. Look at her. Absolute wrecked us. How much she, she got 7,000 health left? Oh my god. She proper wrecked us. Alright, well let's get back out there and buff up. And get back into the fight really, isn't it? That's what it's all about. Right, we don't have the most amazing buffs. Right. Let's finish her up this time. Let's not let's not die to her. Let's try and... I'm going to go straight back to the mask. Oh, that chill debuff. So long. Why do you last so long? Okay. Right, okay. We've got a minute and a half. Right, you drop anything good? Right, you drop a trophy. Right, okay. Well, that's not good enough for us. Right, we need the blizzard staff. I don't think it's going to happen today. I think it might have to be something for a later day. Uh, back to the hood, just so we don't die. Um, but I think this is it. I think the Frost Moon event is up for us. Ah, uh, ah, oh well. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching. As always, I appreciate your support. If you guys are wondering where yesterday's episode was, you might have seen on Twitter, but I spent the day with uh, a good fellow YouTuber named Python. I'm sure you guys know him. Um, but that's where I was yesterday. It's what I was doing all day. So, yeah. All right. Well, have an absolutely awesome day, everyone. And thank you, as always, for the support. And my God, I love this event. I've forgotten how much I love this event. Like, I really did. Okay. All right. See you all in the next one. Peace. Okay. So, real quick, um, I actually got from that event because I had to jump cut a festive wings, which are better than the ice wings. So, that's cool. A Christmas hook and a mouth elter. An elf melter. <laughs> Yep, sure. And I got a Christmas hook. So there you go. Bam. Finally upgraded my hook. <laughs> Didn't take long at all. Actually, that's super fast, isn't it? Wow. Okay. Right. See you later, guys. Peace.